So that's the assembly complete for the GDK three-quarter cocking double arm seated trap. It was uh, fairly straightforward. A few nuts and bolts. Make sure everything's the right way around. It has online instructions. So to do the, um, the video, I just printed out just a couple of pages just to um, make it easier to do the video. But it's, uh, it's a more substantial trap than I thought it was gonna be. It's quite big and uh, solid, so it might be a trailer job for me or take a, a couple of parts off it to put it in the car. So uh, it's definitely a bit bigger than I expected it to be after using the old Bowman Junior trap. So I can fire, you're supposed to be able to fire any type of clay and you can fire two clays off each arm as well, as well as adjust the the angle. Um, so you just loosen a couple of the bolts here on the uh, pivoting arm so you can turn it twist it on its side for rabbit traps or um, shoot them up in the air like a rising teal whatever you want to do with it really but uh, that's it put together I'm yet to try it out quite easy to put together I've tightened these up it says in the instruction manual to put the first bolt back about an inch I've tightened it up a little bit more since and especially with the, the second arm, I've tightened that one up um, a little bit more than the, the lower arm for some reason because the, the spring was a little bit too slack uh, as it was going round the spring on the end was um, lifting a little bit on the joint so I just tightened that a bit more but it's quite easy to cock on the three quarter cocking because as you can see, it's three quarters of the way around now. This only goes around anti-clockwise in one full swing. So to cock it now, you just pull that back. It locks behind the trigger and you fire it, then it ends up back in this position then. So on the full cocking version, I expect you'd have to pull the Pull the arm all the way around so this makes uh, quite light work of it it's worth paying a little bit extra i think so that um if someone's on it and they haven't got very strong arms it's, it just makes it easier and a bit more enjoyable for everyone now and there wasn't a huge difference in price between the single arm and the double arm so i think it's worth paying about 60 pound extra to get the extra arm and then you could even fire four clays at the same time if you want. It wasn't pictured with these um, tubes, but they are a safety feature just to, as a guidance to keep out of the, the danger area with the arms swinging round. People don't always have those on, but that's what's recommended, I suppose, nowadays. The manual traps don't have these. This, uh, it's got a counterbalance on the end, that probably helps the, the momentum to recock it. You can slide as well as adjust the depth of the clay holders if you're holding one clay or two clay or the thinner, smaller diameter clays. You can also adjust this holder back and forward, which is going to affect the, uh, the flight of the clay as well. I suppose you're supposed to hold this handle with your right hand and then with your left hand pull the clay launching arm back. So when I tested it just now I just uh, I just did it with one hand because it was it's pretty easy to 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 cock the, the launcher. And then this is your trigger mechanism here. See it's closed up against this uh, metal bar. You got your fingers on top then so you just Pull that. Because the trap's fairly substantially made with a quite a heavy frame, you don't really feel much of a vibration or anything with the trap going off. Obviously, you can feel the spring a bit, but 
it doesn't move the machine the um it doesn't move the whole thing about or anything and just the legs have also got pinholes as well so you can uh well not pinholes peg holes so you could uh, peg it to the ground if you're on some uneven surface if i want to get it in the boot of the car i might take uh, a couple of bits off it as i said i, I could i could just loosen the bolts and take the uh the legs off quite easily the safety guard takes up a lot more space with that on you could reduce it with that on or off but that's I either want to leave it on or take it off permanently for myself because just because uh, I don't really fit these on every time so it might be easier just to, to leave it as is and stick the whole thing in the trailer the seat falls down so that saves a bit of space and there's a bit of a overhang on the back it's probably just to counterbalance the the weight on the front because it's quite front heavy not that it it doesn't want to tip itself forward or anything but it's also got a it's got a bolt hole in the in the back of it so i suppose you could uh tie a weight on there or something if if you were leaning downhill or something i don't know why you'd, why you'd want to really but it looks good and i'm looking forward to trying it out thanks for watching